And um, whenever people say, oh, no, 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 you, sh you should look into this, it's always a time investment, right? And, and I'm not made of time. Um, what's the mirror for? I'll get to that in just one moment. The concept that Twitch would try to take a larger cut is very, very stupid. And yet, and yet it was internally discussed, wasn't it? And it was leaked. If the platform is proven, the smarter thing to do is to give the streamer more of a cut. Exactly. Incentive. Right? Like, I would, if, if I were Twitch, I would up it um, to, honestly, like uh, 65 or 70%. Honestly. Or, I would have a tier based. If you're partner, you get more. And if you're a top partner, you get even more. But um, top partners also get sponsorship deals that we're not really privy to the details of, so... I mean, then they're, they're not poor. Let's just put it that way. The mirror is for um, casting reflect on the enemy party. Oh, sorry, on on allies, which is actually quite good. I don't think I'll ever use it. I just want it. If you have a proven platform, you can enjoy a lower percentage but higher volume. Yes, because I mean, is Twitch Pokemon main and critical role, or is it filled with like tens of thousands of streamers just like me? Like, do the math on that. Higher volume, and the bigger cut for streamers means they are mo more motivated to stream more. Exactly. And it defends the platform against copycats. Exactly. I, I don't know what they're thinking. They're doing, like, the exact opposite of what they should be doing. Imagine having the temerity to say, no, 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 streamers, like, only deserve 30%. We will... They're at 50. We'll drop down to 30, because they'll take crumbs. They're only thinking that way because they thought, okay, well, Microsoft no longer has Mixer, so our main con ma our main competition is no longer there. So now let's just let's just screw the people that are on the platform still. You know, let's just uh, you know keep keep squeezing um, the people because we've got monopoly status currently. It's a it's a very short sighted uh, mindset, and I don't understand it. 70% is what a lot of the big legacy streamers are on the platform had from Dustin TV days. Rumor is that Twitch looked for excuses to ban those streamers to unwind those legacy contracts. Well, have a look at Dr. Disrespect. To this day, um, we don't know why he was banned. Like, there was speculation. I thought, like, I thought that speculation could be true. That there might have been some, um, like, uh... I, I won't say grooming, but I mean, something along those lines. Um, so that was the rumor in the very early days. But then more and more information started to come out, and it appears to be... Twitch realized that once Mixer went down to the, the Gurgler, that they could simply just um, cancel whatever agreement they had with Dr. Disrespect. Um, and so I think he's, to this day, pursuing them in court to get his money. And so he should, right? But yeah, it turns out it, it seems to be all about the money for Twitch and Amazon, which is crazy to me. I mean, Amazon owns Twitch, and Amazon is a billion dollar company, one of the biggest companies in the world. Like, I, I just don't understand some of the decisions, man. It's really just... What are they... What they are trying to... Th what they are doing is thinking short-term. Trying to generate short-term super normal profit for the benefit of their own performance bonuses rather than the long-term health adventure. We can get out of the mansion now. We can get out of the mansion. Mansion is done. Okay, next we're gonna go where? So we're gonna go where? Um... I risk I can't get that. What an interesting stipulation. Party members must be under level 78. I wish I knew that before. Dream Powder, uh, Crown Lance. Okay. By the way, um, I'm not sure if I've said it before, but uh, I want to just say cheers to everyone. This has been a very lively chat. I'm not used to this at all. And, and, and I'm not fishing for a follow. I'm not. Like, if, if like you think I'm a bit of a weird guy, or the gameplay is not really your bag, and you're just stopping by for whatever reason, that's cool too. I mean, I think more people should do that. Get a little bit out of their comfort zone and like explore around, see what's out there. 
So yeah, not fishing for follows, okay? For me, it's about nice conversation with uh, people. I can unfollow and refollow if that makes your day. Mm, I prefer you not. Because <laughs> I think that would reset your follow count as well. I think if you do exclamation mark follow age, you can see how long you followed. And I think that resets if you unfollow and refollow. So, do you want that to happen? You're one of my longest followers, life. So, you know, it's bragging rights there. Bragging rights. Please don't leave, please don't leave, please don't leave, please don't leave. Alright, where's the beach? Um, I'll pass on that. So I'll go here. Go here. Okay, crown lance can be, I think, morphed, so... I think this thing's a little bit weak. Some good conversations, talking about how shitty uh, um, Star Wars has turned into. Um, some other TV shows which are good and bad, like the Game of Thrones thing. Oh, what about Ring of, Ring of Power? Oh my god. Don't get me started. I really want to like it because it's Lord of the Rings, right? But I had a look at it and I'm like, nah, no thanks. No, nah, I'm good. I'm good. No thank you. Oh, sorry, Crown Lance is on Cosmic Canyon Beach. Alright. I'm in the wrong area. I'm not even gonna watch Ring of Power yet. Yeah. It's the same with me with Stranger Things. Like, as soon as I got a whiff of something I was a bit, like, iffy about, I was like, nah, I'm good, I don't need to watch this. And trust me, you have more time to do other things. It's win-win. You could use the time that you would have used watching Bring a power, excuse me, to become a Twitch streamer yourself. If you wanted to. I'm embarrassed to say it, but I watched her Tokyo Vice and it was fun. I mean, I don't know what Tokyo Vice is. I should probably write it down and investigate later. Okay, now these lovely boys can be what? Is it manipulated or do I need to? Get rid of that, get rid of... Buh, 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 buh. L hmm. Dream powder. Uh, dream powder. Oh, dream powder. I believe you can take me to another... Okay, they can be morphed. Great. As long as you go in there realizing they Jake Adelstein uh, is a fantasist. Yep, he is. Okay, uh, you. Jake wrote a memoir in the late 2000s. Yep, about his time as a reporter covering the Yakuza around the millennium. Yep, yep, I remember that. It was basically all lies. Yep, yep. However, he's still, um... Would you say he's still widely respected? He's widely known still. But I mean, um, this was like on... On the, the brink of people um, fact-checking everything. So he kind of got away with it. He couldn't get away with it now. So that became Tokyo Vice on HBO. He's widely known but not respected. Yeah. Like uh, Billy Mitchell. Another favourite um, subject of mine. The Billy Mitchell rabbit hole is a very interesting one. People are like, oh no no, look at look at um Chris Chan, Sonic Chu. No no. My rabbit hole is Billy Mitchell. Billy Mitchell, aka the greatest video game player of the past century. Basically a big old cheaty boy that used MAME to get his Donkey Kong records. Oh, that's two drink powders, yeah. So what I might do is I might dupe them now. Oh no no I, I no I'll run away. Uh, like a few document, like a few documentarians have tried to hire him as a fixer. Ha! Uh, help set up connections with Yakuza, and he could not actually pull it off. He just introduced them to a taxi driver apparently. Oh dear. 
web of lies we weave. That's that's legit funny though. That amuses me. My chicken is carefully watching me from the uh, the airship. Okay, so we will be duping some items now. So this is how you dupe items in Final Fantasy VII. You have the W item material, which you get from the um, Midgar raid. Okay, you select and then like allow it to be used on an enemy or a party member, whatever. The second time, do the exact same thing, cancel out. And then so on and so forth. And that's how you do items in Final Fantasy VII. Wee! I'm a cheaty boy. We'll do it up to 50. Um, I guess he was just more comfortable presenting it in a non-fiction format. Well, I'm not really interested in anything that Jake Alston does, so... Green powder? Sleep more? Yeah, very nice, very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. The hourglass one is quite nice. It's just that a lot of enemies, especially like higher level enemies, they're immune to stop. So, a couple of these items are very situational. Ice crystal, yes, yes. Uh, I gotta go get sleep, but have a fun stream. Thanks, life. You have a good sleep. It's been fun hanging out. Uh oh, did I? I messed up, didn't I? Oh, I messed up. Oh, we'll have to go back to get another ice crystal. Fuck. That was your fault, life. You distracted me. God damn it. That's how easily the duping can go wrong. Mirror. May you dream of a uh, uh, very good boob physics, I don't know. Cauldron, here we go. Don't mess this one up. There we go. Cauldron is a very disgusting item that inflicts six different status ailments on all enemies. Situationally good. Okay, I want to get um, a few other things uh, leveled up. Okay, they're not doing much damage. Uh, Mega Elixir, I'll get that back up to 99. We will get Elixirs up to 99. That'll be essential for what we're going to be trying to do. What other stuff? Kiss to Death 99, yep, we'll be using Kiss to Death, I think. So, Crown Lance done. Birth Drum we can get in the North Crater. Lunar Curtain, okay, Wu Tai. Effect and Hades together, it really messes up enemies. Blue ties over here. Foul lander, I think. The easiest way for me to find this enemy is uh, if I climb that a chow. I think it's what it's called.
And I'm pretty sure that Wutai is a commentary on post war Japan. I'm not really inclined to look on the uh, internet for the conversation around that. That's just my interpretation. Wutai is commentary on post war Japan. Okay, I need an enemy called um, Foul Lander. These things also have something to them? No. So let's, let's just run away. just need to morph them or do they drop them? If they drop them then it's a bit more involved. Come on. Where's my random battle? Those things are very useful though. They can be morphed into uh, X potions at, at, at a certain point in the time. At a certain point of time in the game when you don't have the W item, uh, but you do have morph. That's a very good source of X potion. So X potion giving like a full heal to one party member. So pretty legit. And you can farm them quite efficiently. Now this thing here is what I want. I believe. Now, what do I need to do with you? Do I need to just morph you? No, it's a drop. They've got a 14% chance of dropping that, or a 14% chance of dropping a fire veil. Right? And they can't be morphed into anything anyway. Come on, baby. Very nice. That's a perfect drop. That's perfect. That's delicious. I also better check that, um... Because usually, if I get raided, um... I, uh... A little uh, alert will um, pop. So I'll, I'll show, you, show you what I mean, because I think I'm able to do this. Uh, right. So I was raided by CC and the alert popped for that. So I'm like, why, why are there, like, do people, do people come for me? No, they must have come to raid, surely. But anyway, um, if there was a raid, a little alert will pop on the screen. Something. Like a this. I need to make more alerts. I like making the alerts. They're fun. Yeah. But anyway. Back to trying to find Luna Curtain. There's some big ears. Some lobes. Oh, kill it. Kill it. Nice. All right. Lunar curtain. Lunar curtain. Lunar curtain. But as you can see, oh that's right, they um, you can morph them into an X potion, and I think they drop X potions 100%. Let me just see if that's true though. I 
could be lying. No, they always drop X potions. So, I mean, yeah, basically you, you'll be wanting to grind um, 99 X potions from that enemy. Yeah, that's that's such a an, uh, a broken drop. Oh no, Luna, damn it! Mm. Mm. Right, kill. Nice. <laughs> Give me the fire veil instead. Come on, game. Give me what I want. Yeah, I need to make a few changes to my stream as well. Like, um, maybe some of you who are familiar with streaming might notice the font that I'm using in the chat widget. It's called, um, uh, Permanent Marker. And I kind of want to get rid of Permanent Marker. I reckon I got the drop. That was three of them. Yeah, I want to get um, a different font. I want to change up the look of the streams. Um, I've got a green screen, but the only thing I've really used it for is for the, the lava lamp stuff. And I mean, the lava lamp, I like it. It looks cool. Nothing wrong with it. It's just I want change. So I need to um, workshop that. So that's, that's a big reason of uh, why I stream, for the creative freedom that I get from it. I obviously don't do this for money. Uh, where is my Luna Corton? Give me what I want. I see you right there. Situationally, this is actually a really good item to have. Because if I keep getting blasted by enemies with uh, magic, I can just put up an M barrier with an item. I don't even need to have an enemy skill materia equipped. So. The um, 100 point achievement beating the game under level 28 that's going to be insane I have to follow a guide to the letter because um, the difference between level 27 at the end of the game and going a little bit over is literally 200 XP only 200 it's so tight it's a bit of crazy situation that crazy? So that's all of that. I'm now going to save there. I'm gonna to have to reset. Because can I, I? I don't think I can even use F1 to exit out. Yeah. So I'm gonna to have to close the game like that, then load it back up, look in my settings, um, I think I can show this, so, oh no no, it, it's fine, it's fine, so what, what, what are we looking at here, um, input, yeah, input and then hotkeys, right, um, Right. Hotkey enable. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to try loading a game now. History. Uh, run. Now, will it let me do F1? Okay. Okay. Good, we've got um, fast forward enabled. Okay.
everything's in place for me to do the um the level 99 grinding but i need to go wee wee your boy need to go wee wee i'm sorry uh, i'm human too um i'll be right back though but until then please enjoy the um the little be right back screen with the uh, the music handpicked by your boy <laughs> 